Getting a driver's license is a rite of passage for many teenagers on their way to adulthood. But should beginner teenage drivers be held to the same standard of conduct as adults when they're behind the wheel? A Michigan court faced that question in Stevens v. Veenstra. A Michigan statute provided that the state wouldn't issue a driver's license to any person under the age of 18 unless the person passed a driver's education course. To fulfill that statutory requirement, 14-year-old Aaron Veenstra enrolled in a driver's education course offered by the Calumet Public School System. Prior to enrolling in the course, he'd never driven a car on a public road in a developed area. On his first day driving with his instructor, Aaron turned too sharply at an intersection and struck James Stevens, who'd just gotten out of a parked car. Aaron said that in his attempt to avoid hitting Stevens, he might have accidentally stepped on the accelerator instead of the brake. Stevens brought a negligence action in Michigan State Court against the school system and Scott Veenstra, Aaron's father, as Aaron's next friend. At trial, the court instructed the jury that in determining whether Aaron was exercising ordinary care in operating the car at the time of the accident, the jury should hold Aaron to the standard of care that a reasonably careful minor of Aaron's age, mental capacity, and experience would use under the circumstances. The jury returned a verdict that Aaron wasn't negligent. Stevens moved for a new trial. He argued that the jury instruction was improper because minors engaged in the adult activity of driving a car should be held to an adult standard of care, or in other words, the general reasonable person standard. The trial court denied the motion, stating that even though driving a car is generally an adult activity, driving a car as a student in a school driver's education course isn't. Stevens appealed to the Michigan Court of Appeals.